guy loves midgets and knives. And every time he goes to the circus, he just comes. <laughs> What, they, what their porn search is. Does anyone want to tell me that? Midgets? No, everyone says midgets on my show because I posted one midget video. And now every show people are like, midgets, midgets. And I go, I know you don't jerk off to midgets. You're a poser, dude. You're here with your lady? You're not, are you a little person? Are you actually? Oh shit, you're not lying. <laughs> Yo, I'm so sorry. I called you a phony. That's the first time I've ever done that. Is it, is it wrong for me to say midget? I have four nine, so I, yeah, they are on the line. Oh, you're on the line? Yeah. When, when does, when does it cross? Is four eight, you're four fucking, ten. Four ten. you're fucking like the LeBron James of midgets. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking like, yeah, you little fucks. <laughs> okay, were you Googling midget porn before you met her? Or you were about it? You were all about it. It's so you manifest destiny. <laughs> Oompa Loompas? So when you watch Charlie and the Chocolate Factory as a kid, you were like, something's happening. <laughs> How did you guys meet? At work. At work. And you were just like, God has blessed me with this thing. You remember how he hit on you? Just like there, like not talking, just standing up. It's like a whole year. It only took a year, bro? And you were just creeping around, standing in silence? How'd you get the confidence to finally do it? Someone else asked me. No way! You got someone else to do it? I don't know if I approve of this style. <laughs> you want to tell me the porn search category? And that's your full of shit. I'm not even. I know you're just like you were cooking, you were waiting. I went through a couple, and then you're like, this one's gonna be crazy, dude. I'll fucking pull up some Pucci midget porn on my phone right now, and make you jerk off, prove you wrong. <laughs> I'll pull that shit up and be like, come, come in front of all these people, you fucking fraud. <laughs> it's just too small of a pool, man. You're, if you're like into amputee midgets, you'll like start stealing midgets and cutting off their legs or something. You're like, I need more. <laughs> so what does St. Louis have? What do you got? What is the thing? The east side? That's the grimy ass area. Yeah, okay, so someone told me there's a strip club with a midget. That's what I heard. So I'm like, ooh, is it worth getting shot? I don't know. <laughs> Take a bullet to get a midget lab dance. I might. <laughs> I might do that. Does anyone know if she's there tonight? Is she a regular? Yeah, she's there Fridays and Saturdays. Oh. <laughs> yeah! Dude, I love that you know her schedule. <laughs> I've been keeping tabs on her for years. Why do you know her schedule? Oh, you guys, you're just, in there, you're just a patron. You know a couple of them by, by their real first name? You're like, Cinnamon or Stacy. We try not to do that personally. No, 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 you keep it professional, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Business only. Give me a nice little dance and then fuck off, all right? I pay you for the dance, I pay you to leave. That's what I do. What's the, what's the, the major stripper's name? Her name is Smurf. Smurf? Oh! That's such a good name, dude! Oh, on Christmas, she's got like come in blue or something. Like, there's gotta be a special day where she does the full get up. Oh. How often do you go to the strip club? Like every two weeks. Every two weeks? Dude, wow, you're dropping fucking stacks there. Yeah, well, yeah, I know. Yeah. When you know, like, a stripper schedule, I'm not like, that's a responsible person. <laughs> What do, you, what do you do for a living? You work in a warehouse. You're just grinding. You're making warehouse money. Strip club every two weeks. <laughs> I thought you were gonna be like, I work in tech, you know, I got cash to burn. You're like, no, I'm fucking living paycheck to paycheck. Smurfs one of the small bright lights in my life. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna go in there and be like, bring me Smurf. Bring her to me right now. Is it, okay, is it really dangerous to go out there? No. No, no it's not that bad? No, just okay. Just don't be scared. Just yeah. don't be scared? The criminal smell fear. <laughs> Got a weak one, boys. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> okay. Uh, miss, miss, who knows the, the strip club schedule? Are you, who are you here with tonight? My homeboy, Lukey. Homeboy, Lukey. Luke, how do you and Lukey know each other? Yo, you both work in the warehouse. Yeah. You guys hit the uh, shirt club together? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> Luke, 
throwing bands up in there as well, bro. Let's say it's a fucking hot Saturday, you go in the strip club, Luki, how much money are you gonna spend? Fitty. Fitty? Like fifty dollars? Hey bro, you know what? You go in there with your fifty and you're like, I'm just here to watch, alright? <laughs> I like that. You're like very conservative about the ones. A girl doesn't really do a good job. You're like, I see you better on the bowl. Only two months for you. It's hard to get a dollar from Mookie. Anyone here want to be honest with me with their porn search history? I got a big yes over here. Right here, buddy. What's your porn search? Midget porn. Midget porn. Now, are you saying that for real or is that. Dead eye. Like, sometimes I get the craving for midget porn. <laughs> like fucking Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, he does fucking penis. I like a werewolf on a full moon. It's like, that ah, movie's got the craving, where the little people. <laughs> what is it about midget porn that fucking gets you going? The acrobatics. The acrobatics. <laughs> I guess there are so many angles and things you can do with a person of that size. You can't do with a normal person. Normal, I didn't mean normal. <laughs> So what, what's your fave thing to see in midget porn? Honestly, missionary, just seeing the little legs wiggle up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am, I'm just happy that I'm not you. Because <laughs> that's such a specific thing to need to come, you know? Yeah, little legs just... <laughs> like he's having sex with a regular sized lady. And she's like, what's wrong? And he looks at her legs, he's like, nothing. <laughs> Have you ever had sex with a, a little no, lady? Man, it's, on the bucket list. it's on the bucket list, dude. Are there any midgets here right now? Dude. I mean, we'll stop calling them midgets. <laughs> this will turn into a clip and we'll get you fucked, dude. We'll get your, your dick sucked by those little hands. <laughs> I mean, my dick looks huge right now. Okay, anyone else? Porn search history. Hentai. What is it about hentai porn that you love? Oh, what a fucking cream! <laughs> oh, I know. I do. I gotta be honest with you. I do that shit all the time. <laughs> Every time. I don't know if you guys play Overwatch. Overwatch is a very popular shooter. Every time an Overwatch new character drops, I'm like, okay. <laughs> go to the Overwatch porn subreddit, uh, and then I fucking take my scrolls, and then I go like, ah, well done today. I had a nice jizz. Thank you, sir. I just love that there's like an artist who's like doing it. There's a guy who's like fucking, he sees it, because like when a new Overwatch or new like character drops in certain things, there's like a race. Like all these guys get out there, they're like, I gotta be the first one to get these things out there. <laughs> like making people jizz under duress. So I like when there's one, do you guys remember Lady Demistrescu from Resident Evil 8? She was like this super tall vampire lady with like massive tits. It was like a collective moment where all the nerds on the internet were jizzing to the same thing. <laughs> they came together in one come. And it's like, it was very spiritual, I think. <laughs> okay, one more, one more. Knives? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you want someone to be holding a knife as they fuck you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're, yeah. <laughs> You're the horniest man alive. <laughs> this dude said, please. <laughs> so, please, so, shine a ladder. Please, please, who's this woman? <laughs> I've never heard, like, panic and desperation like that before. This guy's been waiting for you his whole life, man. You want to see how tall she is? Oh, Dude, this guy loves midgets and knives. Fucking every time he goes to the circus, he just comes. <laughs> so what does someone do with the knife? <laughs> like soaks. <laughs> so, what is he just like? Hold a knife to you as he fucks you? We haven't tried it yet. 
<laughs> All right, well, do it with the dull knife to start. <laughs> like a practice fuck knife. That's wild, man. Because I feel like ladies are so much more specific in the ways that they get turned on. Like, dudes are like very, we're very prime, like, oh, tits? You put tits on a foot? I like feet now. That's like, that's how dudes get going. But that, like, you were like, a guy was sharpening knives and it got me going, your girl could be at hibachi and you're like, she's like, ooh. And you're like, <laughs> and you're just being like, it's a great show, right? It's a great show. Like, yeah, it's a fucking good show. <laughs>